How's everyone doing? I'm doing great. It's Teddy here from Team TJ, and welcome back to another episode of Subnautica, where today I currently need to grab. Oh, my inventory's full. Okay. Yeah, I needed to get some bladderfish. I need some water. But, hey, that's fine. Actually, do we have some? I think we do. Yeah, oh, okay. That Vital works. Alright, yeah, it's been a while since I've actually done a video that wasn't Minecraft. I needed a bit of a break. I love Minecraft, but some just playing one game consistently for days, it can get boring fast. So, yeah, let's see. Welcome aboard, Captain. Uh, and uh, I need to stop hitting that part. Um. Okay, yeah, nothing in here, but uh, I'll cons I'll consume that. I'll consume those. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, but. Yeah, guys, so last time we left off, we, uh, yeah, we made our own little room up here. We, I made my little bedroom with the kitty and everything, yes. A little desk with some stuff and everything. We, I still want a bed, actually. So we're gonna need to get, well, let's see, the recipe for a bed. So I want the basic double bed, so we need fiber mesh. Should we make fiber mesh out of two creep vine samples that's the easy okay wrong way yeah that's easy because we're literally in the creep vine forest that's very simple so let's grab our knife and grab some of this there we go so we got two we can make fiber mesh this is this is that simple all right oh that boomerang is infected with the karar oh okay yeah we need to do something about that i know we can I know we can do something about the Karar, so that's that's good, that's important. So, fiber mesh, there we go, very nice, very nice indeed. So, let's, okay, I, my sound is turned on a little high, okay, yeah, that's better, okay. So, let's make this, so, we can make the basic double bed, so where do I put this? I want to... why can't I put it... why can't I put it there? Why does it only want me to put it... I, oh, I mean, okay, but... That's kind of far. That's a little far in, don't you think? I mean, seriously, why... why is it doing that? Let me... let me deconstruct this, actually. Let me try making like a small one instead. Single bed, same problem. Why? Why is that? Th why is? Why? Might be the posters. It might be. Hold on. Let me pick these up. I'll put them back up. I just want to test to see. N no, it's not the posters. I don't know why it's doing that to me. Why is it doing this to me? Fine. I'll just just be put there, I guess. All right, let's uh four five uh four. Okay. Yeah, let's just put these up back where they belong. And there we go. All right. Not exactly. I'm gonna grab uh, this, and I think I'll put it. I think I'll put this little plush thing right on top of my oh we can sleep in our bed oh. oh okay so we slept yep stretch stretch yep I stretched there yeah okay so uh, can we okay yeah we can okay I must have clicked the wrong button okay okay we got that we got that sorted we got this going we got that going okay and yeah, but today I had my a plan, and the plan is to explore the cave, and I made it night. Uh, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. I guess it doesn't matter. So, we need to get into the cave. We found it a while, uh, not too long ago, but a little bit ago. And now we're gonna go to it. So I'm gonna get into my Seamoth, and... Yeah, I think we I think we only need to take the sea moth uh, with us. Seek fluid intake. 
Okay, yeah, we really need to find some bladder fish, though, so I'm actually going to go over to here, and I'm going to deploy my grav trap. So, grav trap, do your thing. So, hopefully it pulls in some bladder fish. Doesn't seem to. Um, I don't think... I think bladder fish only spawn in the safe shallows. Hopefully we can find some. I'll cut back once I have some. There's one. Alright guys, I have all the bladder fish. Now we're gonna turn them into some water for us. So we don't have to worry about that. And then we'll go into the cave. I'm not gonna take the cyclops I mean, because I, I honestly just don't think the cyclops can fit down there. But I will take the sea moth. So, yeah. Once we are down there and have everything that we need. Alright, there we go. Vital signs stabilized. Let's actually grab a marble melon, actually. Just for some uh, additional food. Yum. Alright. But, yeah, let's go get into the sea moth. I think I know kind of the general area where this cave is. I think. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty darn sure. So, yeah. Alright, so I think we were around this area. Like, we were going this direction. And I stumbled across the cave entrance. Somewhere around here, I remember. Oh, there it is. There it is. I remember this. So, yeah, the cave entrance. Right down here, all, yep, there's the jelly shrooms. So this is kind of dangerous. I saved earlier, and I'm not going to save until I'm out of here, because this place is kind of deadly. Because of a certain creature known as the crab snake. Warning, maximum depth range. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, okay, that might not be a good thing. Oh, there they are. Crab snakes. They're active. Okay. So, yeah. And is wait, that's a base. That's a base right there. Okay, I cannot go deeper with the sea moth, so... The conditions in this game oh. support a microcosm of unique, possibly predatory life forms. Uh, duh! Protecting an artificial structure somewhere in the region. Oh, uh, duh! Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency. Decreased. Okay, so I'm gonna. Passing 200 meters, oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. I'm gonna head here. This is another base. This is a failed base. Nuclear reactor fragment. Oh. Okay, so how do we get inside here? Oh, the ambience is so creepy. Huh. There's some of those crab snake creatures. How do I get in? Water filtration machine. Okay. Okay, do we have enough time to scan this and get back? Okay, okay. Water, water filtration system. I need to get back to my sea moth. Get some oxygen. Okay, I need to find an entrance to this thing. I think I'm gonna try over on that end, but yeah, there's clearly gotta be an entrance to it somewhere. Clearly, but yeah, this cave. This cave is creepy. Okay. I think. Yeah, okay, now I see the entrance. It's over on this side. Wait, this is a. New creature discovered. This is a. Another, that's like a peeper almost, but a different kind of th peeper. Okay, we got an abandoned PDA. Oh, 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 I must have bumped onto that, whatever. Okay, ew, ew. Okay, don't bump into those. Those are not happy things. Not happy creatures at all. Okay, just trying to see, look around here. Um, nothing really new. Nothing we've actually... Okay, there's this. Integrating new PDA data. Alright. 30 seconds. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, it might be a good idea to get out and s let's go. Let's go back to the sea moth. Now, okay. Oh, oh crap. Okay, get in it, get in it, get it now, now. Oh. Okay. We almost ran out of oxygen there. Okay, why did I do this? Why? Access upgrades. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Tab. Okay, so we got this, an Oculus. This is a, uh... This is a kind of like a peeper-like creature. I think I want to try to scan one. That might be dumb, but... I don't think they're... From what I can tell, they're not deadly. So... Actually... Uh, okay, this is a new thing. Okay, that's just a new thing. These are like... Can we scan these? No, we can't. Okay, there's some more of those creatures. I wanna scan you. I wanna scan you. Can I scan you, please? Please? Please let me scan. Scan. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Those, those I think are bad predator things. Might be a good idea to not get close. Okay, let's get in there. Okay, I keep doing this, but we can't go any deeper with this. Okay, let's actually uh, see indigenous knife forms. Um, let's see, there it is, the Oculus. So. Yeah, it, it seems to have characteristics similar to the peeper, so it is basically like uh, another peeper creature, so that's interesting. Very interesting. But yeah, I'm, I think that was another base left over from the Degassies, I think is what they're called. And let's, let's go back down. I, I want to check out this particular park here. Yeah, there's another PDA in that part as well, so once I'm back in, I know I'm, for the most part, safe. Like, for the most part. Okay. Okay. Let's, uh, let's, we can go, we can swim up here. Okay, uh, another PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Okay, they're not really any new, really new blueprints that we can, that we can get. All this stuff's all stuff that we... Okay, poisoned again by those stupid jellyfish creatures. Yeah, all this stuff is like, for the most part, just things we already have access to. Yeah, okay. 30 seconds. Yeah, time to go. Time to go. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And I think I'm gonna leave now. Because, well, I want to explore the cave, and we already got some good stuff. But I want to explore this, but the problem is our sea moth depth is not good enough. So, I think that we might need to make the modification station soon. So, at least I know where this is, so I can always come back. So, let's head back to our base and try to see what we can do. I think I'm going to re release the... Uh, uh, I think I'm gonna release the Oculus up here somewhere, probably near my mate and my base. So let's get out and Oculus, you can live somewhere around here. So, uh, yeah, it, it enjoy, enjoy your time around here, Mr. Oculus. Bye. All right. So let's see. Welcome aboard. We Captain. got the water filtration system thing. So, we need titanium, copper wire, and aerogel. Okay, titanium is not hard. Um, copper wire, probably not hard either. Let's just see. I can, I can easily get titanium. Copper wire, just two copper. I think, I bet we have that flying around somewhere. Somewhere around here we got some copper. And then we need aerogel, so... Oh yeah, of course you can cook the Oculus. Yeah, of course you can. So... Yeah, and the water filtration machine. So, I'm gonna see aerogel... Okay, there it is. We need gel sacks and ruby. Okay, we. I don't know how to get ruby, so that's not gonna happen yet. 
but yeah, that was like the whole idea of this episode, so yeah, I, well, I guess, I guess it's a good idea now to try to make the modification station, so let's see where that is, and how to make the, how, okay, how to make it, so we need lead, diamond, titanium, and a computer chip. That's actually not bad. I just need to remember how to make a computer chip. Yeah, that's easy. Okay, we don't need much. We just need a little bit more resource, and that's not bad. I can grab that. There's some titanium already. Oh, those things again. Oh, come on. They keep popping. There's two of them. Oh, for the love of glob, those guys are so hard to deal with. Okay, copper, we got that. We just need a little bit more copper. And titanium, always helpful, but we don't need it right now. Have I been down here before? I actually don't think I have in this particular one. Yeah, there's some quartz there. Alright, resources, definitely good. So, let's actually go, and I know I put some copper away in the Cyclops, yeah. And well, the TJ, I need to start calling them by their names. So, yeah, once we have this. Aboard, Thank you! Thank you very much. So, let's actually get some coffee just so we can get some water going. So, yeah, well, some liquid thirst thing going. So, yeah, this should happen pretty quick. So, yeah, we got some materials. You just need one more copper. Alright, yep, thank you. And anything in here? Uh, nope, anything in here. Uh, yeah, okay, there's some copper and some lead. Alright, that's good. We just need some diamonds now. So I'm gonna check the, uh, I need to check all my storage units. I really have more storage units than I really think I should have. Everything is everywhere. That's the problem. I'm not very organized in this game. Alright, anything... There's a diamond in there. That is good. That is good. And plenty of stuff. Plenty of copper. More copper than I thought we had. Wow, okay. So... I'm just gonna grab some table coral. Because we're just gonna need a little bit. Okay, there we go. And uh, I guess I'll just use the fabricator to... Yeah, that's in here. I mean, why not? So, let's, let's grab what? Oh yeah, the Oculus. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, I just want these notifications gone. Thank you. So we can make the copper wire. All right. Nice. And a computer chip. There we go. Now, I. Th I think we already have everything we need, so let's head back to the base, and I think we can make the modification station. That's going to be great, because then we can actually start using that to upgrade our Seamoth with, like, depth modules and all that. Uh, and we're going to need the moon pool as well, but I just don't know exactly where to put it. Maybe on that end, but I'm not really sure if it would even fit on that end. Well, let's first uh, make the modification station, so... Okay, here we go, here we go, and bam! There we go. It is, is done. Completed. So, yeah, this is like a fabricator, so we can upgrade a survival knife into a thermal blade. We can upgrade our tank our fins, we can upgrade our propulsion cannon and the Cyclops depth module. Let's actually make the thermo blade. Oh yes. Oh yes, look at this thing. Oh, I, I think that cu uh, cooks food like automatically. That's cool, I like that. So can we fit? The moon pool on this side, probably not. I'm just gonna see. Okay, yeah, no. We can't. That sucks. But actually, one idea I just had now was why don't we just move that over there and put the moon pool there? Because 
seriously, why do we even have it on that side, right? So, I'm gonna deconstruct this ladder, actually. And then I'm going to reconstruct it over here. So I guess it is a good a good thing our bed is kind of right there. Yeah, I guess that's the reason they made it that way. Okay, so let's deconstruct the grow bed. And there we go. So we can deconstruct the observatory from here as well. And can we deconstruct this as well? Okay, I actually think I need to be outside for that. Yeah, I do. Okay. But that's fine, that's fine. So, yeah, once we have this done, I can make the moon pool over there. So, deconstruct this. So, let's reconstruct all of these right now over here. Okay. Can the observatory fit here? Can it? Please tell me. No, it can't. Oh, nuts. Okay, well, I guess the glass compartment will not be part of the observatory. Let's put just the observatory by itself. I mean, that's just as good, right? Right, it looks just, it looks, it still looks nice. So, can we put the moon pool here now? No? Oh, okay, yes we can, but it won't connect. Okay, let's, uh, oh, I'm an idiot, okay. So let's put the glass compartment back. Let's see if we can actually get this to connect to that. Is it going to? Okay, um, it might, it might. It looks like it could. It looks like it will, actually. And so, what exactly do we need for it? We need two titanium ingots, lubricant, and lead. Oh, yay. Okay. Give me a moment. Guys, I just went exploring for some outcroppings. And I think I found a new area. Like, I don't think I've been here before. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Yeah, okay. So... Yeah, I... Yeah, I don't think I've been here before, so... Let's see what we can find inside this. Because I... This is a bit startling, because... I... I was just looking and I found this big piece of the Aurora. Alright, so... Anything to scan? Wait, you want me to cut more? Another door? Another sealed door for me to cut open. Okay, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because I don't think I've been over in this particular part of the planet yet. Alright. Another propulsion cannon fragment. And... An empty storage crate, disinfected water, and a modification station. Oh! seconds. Oh, lightweight, high capacity tank. Acquired. Okay, okay, let's get into our Seamoth. That's a uh, that's a new blueprint. Okay, let's actually take a look after I drink that, and I guess eat the nutrient block. We might. I think yeah, I needed that. All right, let's see. Where is the new blueprint? There we go. Um, this is lightweight, and it's high capacity. I don't know what this is. What what better does that do? What does that do better that ours doesn't? And I found another entrance to the cave. And, uh, what is this? A scanner room fragment. Okay, ow, I think one of those biters got me. Yep. Okay, that's a th second piece of a scanner room. And, okay, there's the outcropping I was looking for. Right here. Is, okay. Okay, there's some lead. I just need one more, I think. I just need one more lead. And we're good. So, yeah, I decided to go here just because I, I go in this direction. Because I don't think I've been in this direction yet. 
there's reef backs right here, so I know this is a safe zone. Okay. Yeah, okay, there's another outcropping, but that won't give me lead. That one won't give me any lead. I need to find the uh, sandstone ones. Okay, yeah, it might be time. It might be a good time to pull out the repair tool. Yeah. Yeah, it might be a really good time to pull out the repair tool. Okay. Yep, get this thing to full health once again. There we go. Alright. Not so. Let's see. There's got to be... Okay, whoa. Okay, that reef back's real close. Reef back's real close, yeah. Um, okay, there's an outcropping that could house lead. Please house lead. No, that's silver, but that's still good. Silver is important. Okay. What do you have? There's the lead I need. Alright, time to go back home. I'll cut back once I'm back. Alright guys, so I think now we can make the moon pool. I think we have all, everything that I that we need to make it. So let's uh Okay, um construct. Yeah, I think I think we'll about we're about to make the moon pool. There we go. Okay, yep. Leave me alone, Mr. Stalker. I am going to go into my moon pool. For the first time, let's try this out. So, okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, yeah, and look at the moon pool. Oh! Okay, that's, I guess this is like another exit. Okay, yay, this is like another exit. Psychological discomfort. Research indicates symptoms may be partly alleviated by adopting a pet or anthropomorphizing an inanimate object. Okay, so I basically become Tom Hanks. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see. There is one thing that I kind of want to try to make. Um, where was it? Do I even have the blueprints for it? I thought I did. Oh, I swear I had the blueprints for this. I guess not? No, I really did think I had the blueprints for it. Huh. Well, let me check my habitat builder, actually. Um, modules... Well, no, miscellaneous. This is, um, indoor modules. Okay. No, I, I don't. Okay. Yeah. Okay, like, there was a, uh, there's, like, this thing that we ha can put here, and it can, like, make upgrades for this, and, like, we can change the color of the sea moth and everything. So, yeah, I was thinking maybe we could make that, so... Actually, speaking of the modification station, yep, yeah, we got that, but... Well, at least we got the moon pool. Oh, I never did. I never bothered to make the indoor grow bed again. We need titanium, and I must have used it to make the moon pool. Alright, well, that's fine. Titanium is an easy resource to get back. But, yeah, I think that this episode is definitely productive, most definitely, because we got, we got some... Uh, new stuff. We expanded the base a little bit more as well, and yeah, I, I feel pretty accomplished with this particular episode. And uh, there's some titanium right here, just lying, it's just sitting there. Uh, okay, now, I'm not complaining. I'm just like, why is it just sitting there? And I know there was some metal salvage over here. Oh, what? Wait, what is this? What is this? Uh, mobile vehicle bay. Okay, we already got that. Okay, yeah, there's some metal salvage over here. Yeah, and, uh, over he here somewhere, maybe, I think. Uh, yeah, okay, there's some metal, more metal salvage. Nice, nice. So, yeah, that should, uh, that should do us in with the titanium, so I'm gonna head back and make the indoor grow bed, and I might also add one little thing into our moon pool, because... You know, it uh, it could. I think it could use it. So, yeah, let's put back in our indoor grow. Oh wait, we no, we need to turn the metal salvage into titanium first. Yep. Okay. 
All right, there we go. Put the indoor grow bed right back where it belongs. Okay. Right in here in our little observatory room. Nice. So, actually, one thing I might need to make is a bit more reinforcement. So, we need lithium. That's not a bad thing. I, but I do want to do one thing. I think it could look cool for our moon pool. And that is some of this, the wall planter. So, yeah, I'm going to try putting some of this some of these on the sides and see and I'll basically I look at it and t see how it looks in my opinion no I actually kind of like that it looks really nice I kind of do like that so uh, yeah our moon pool definitely looks really nice especially with our sea moths just sitting there and uh, I think we might I think I might want to get another solar panel up in here Okay, I might get that off camera, because that's gonna be a little bit trickier. How many solar panels do we have? I, I swear we only have one. Yeah, we only have one. This one solar panel is powering this whole thing. Yeah, we're gonna need one, at least a couple more in the future. I might put one on top of there, put one there, maybe put one there. So, yeah, but the, but the moon pool does look very nice. I really like it. Yeah, it looks cool, and, uh, yep, stay back. I'm warning you. I have a thermal blade now, and I'm not afraid to use it. And I think this, like, automatically cooks creatures as well. Let me go up to this peeper right here and test it out. Does it actually automatically cook the, the peeper? Oh my gosh, yes, it does. Oh, wow, I am sorry, but now you're tasty, so... <laughs> oh. Okay, no, I'm gonna kill you. I think I can actually... Maybe I can kill one of these guys, finally. Okay, well, he's going away. Now that I've slashed him with that knife. Hey! Hey, you want more of me? Hey, you want some more? You want some more, buddy? Here, have some more. Have some more. I actually might want to try to kill this guy, actually. I'm gonna try to kill a stalker. That'll be my first monster kill. Okay. Okay. Um, no, he's still a. Wait. No, I think he's dead. I think I killed him. This. This is a stalker body right here. Wow. And, uh. Yep, he's just gonna sit there. 30 seconds. Now that he's dead. Alright. I wonder if he'll stay there. I think he probably will. Or, actually, actually, I think he'll probably disappear. But, hey, there's plenty of stalkers in the world, and this one lived real close to my base, so, of course, I wanted to get rid of him. But, yeah, let's go up into, uh, into my room here. It looks really nice. I like. It. Oh, there's the Oculus I brought home. Yep, yeah, he's still swimming around. Very nice. So, yeah, guys, I think I am going to leave the episode here. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please do leave a big, fat thumbs up. That would be greatly appreciated. Also, if this happens to be the first video you have seen by me, please do consider subscribing to join Team TJ Day for awesome gameplay videos and other amazing content like this. Again, apart from that, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Tiny two six out. Goodbye, guys. And actually, hold on. Um, there we go. That looks a lot better. All right.